The Nelson Che missile led Citizens Coalitions for Change (CCC), which won 19 constituencies and several wards in the 26 March by-elections, say the party is popular in the rural areas. Speaking to journalists at a press conference in Harare on Monday, Chamisa said he is ready to show the ruling party that his party is popular with the rural electorate. He said dot this whole lie that the countryside belongs to ZANU PF is a fallacy, it's a hoax, we are very strong in the rural areas, that is why people are intimidated, no majority party intimidates its own supporters, there is no violence that is used by strong people, Weak people resorts to violence, that's why ZANU PF instrument of choice in dealing with electorate and citizens is violence, because they are not supported particularly in the countryside. Had it not been for the conditions that are not free and biased in favor of ZANU PF, we would have scored over 25 of the 28. The people have done it, the citizens of Zimbabwe have done it. We moved from 0 to 19 in Parliament and I can tell you that in 2023 it's going to be a whitewash. It's going to be a big victory. We want to have two-thirds majority in Parliament. We want to turn the Parliament yellow. He also accused the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission of siding with the ruling party dismissing their claims that they had not received any complaints from CCC prior to the 26 March by-elections. The former IC minister said there were issues with the voters' role despite the landslide victory. He said there is a need for .a. Fundamental reforms around the voters' role. B making sure that results are managed in a better way. C. Making polling stations violence-free. Meanwhile, MDCT leader Douglas Munzora has bullishly claimed that he will bounce back in future elections saying the party has previously come from a disadvantage. <laughs>